that I do the same thing at the base, drop it, put a dot, and connect the lines. It's easier. <laughs> Dissect the calcaneus. Mm -hmm. Just doing a little artwork here for you, DJ. <laughs> it's funny when I go out and teach, I tell people, okay, grab a permanent marker. All right, get the scalpel, <laughs> get grab, the scalpel. Grab no. a permanent marker and just yeah. draw lines all the way up the back of the leg. No. <laughs> they walk or people walking around with shorts on with this mark. So, so when do you do when you did the orthotics for the other <laughs> Eagles players, was that one of the one of the people who are doing your system or did you do it personally no that's through Do dr romanski i do all the like for instance the phillies yeah they'll somebody will cast and do the eval uh -huh. and they'll give me all the notes that they can on the player okay and then i go back through and determine by the chief complaints the um findings you know that that the trainer has found with the player um, so they send you all the data and you kind of evaluate yeah, it and i just and determine what's going to be best okay great Kind of like the doctor writes a prescription and the pharmacist, right. hey, you know, maybe we should alter the prescription or lower it. I don't know what to do, it. you fix it. Yeah, I exactly. Get a lot of that. I don't know what to do. This, yeah. I mean, the evaluation is pretty cut and dry. I get a lot of video, you know, because I'm not going to fly all over the place. Yeah, like that's that. why I like the video <laughs> all the evaluations. Because right. right. you get, you know, yeah. everything in there. I get there. a lot of video, yeah. a lot of treadmill work. You know, there's obviously gate. There's a lot that mm -hmm. you guys get to see that I wouldn't get to see unless, yeah. you know, someone comes out you know to the lab or I, or I come out to I see just borderline restriction mm -hmm. but what I, I I'd say this is like borderline restricted but like you're getting about five degrees as far as his calcaneal inversion yeah. or inversion he should probably I would guess he's got decent inversion although it's not 20 degrees and and limited eversion I just felt that from feeling this mm -hmm. so <laughs> I have my hands on a lot of feet <laughs> yeah. well, I, I just, yeah. yeah you'll you'll get yeah because even if I grasp here uh -huh. and you so know you sometimes like you'll do it like manipulations and try to yeah. try to get some mo can, some motion well here. that's what I'm, I'm thinking to, uh, as we add as we progress yes. you know with DJ yes. we're going to do focus on soft tissue work good right. old-fashioned you know, yep. chiropractic because yep. you know, Orthotic is part of the modality mm -hmm. of the treatment. They're gonna, the orthotic's gonna work better if they yeah, go through. Yeah, if yeah. they get that, if you get that and manually minute. Of course, our friend, our friend and colleague, Dr. Craig, uh, in in San Diego, uh, strongly emphasizes a you know, busting up all the the uh, fascia. And right. Whatnot, right. You know, well, first. even you know, I busted my wrist rollerblading and bone popped through the skin and all this they set my wrist externally rotated so my palm was out mm -hmm. when i got my cast off i couldn't they i just they would hot tub it for 15 minutes i just swirl around the hot tub and the guy would come in and go crank crank, crank just busting up every all that scar tissue that had built up over the nine weeks i was in a cast so mm -hmm. okay so on the right uh i guess you know he's average in uh Average would be third or thirty degrees total. Okay. So that's twenty degrees inversion, ten degrees of eversion. Okay. The fact that he doesn't have ten degrees of eversion. So he wants to be restricted. Um, he's definitely yeah. This is this is the most important to me okay. because if I see here that there's less than five degrees of eversion from neutral, mm -hmm. that tells me I cannot put a lot of medial correction on there. Otherwise, I'm going to create lateral ankle instability, and he's yeah. going to sprain it. Yeah, well, which he already has, so, okay. <laughs> less than five degrees, oops, but I see maybe less of a restriction, well, no, I, you know what, I'm going to hush my mouth, I want to say, <laughs> see, I yeah, think he's, really he's with, got stiff, uh, yeah, okay, so I think they're both restricted, so I would mark it like that. Yes, that, uh -huh. I mean, you could basically, you could tell me there's five degrees eversion and then less than 15 degrees total if he just, like, barely moved in either direction here. Mm -hmm then I know he's really got limitation. And my guess is he probably is going to do, you know, fine with a deeper heel cup, 
you know, which will buy mm -hmm. me two degrees of correction, medial or lateral, without me having to actually put an extrinsic correction on there, but there's definitely going to be some forefoot deformity that needs to be addressed. And that's where the navicular is coming into play, that dropping yep. of the navicular and that stretching of the fascia band mm -hmm. is all of that forefoot pronation. Well, I, I just look limitation? in here yeah. and I can see, you know, a forefoot varus, um, clip, well, not as much on the right, but mm -hmm. or, uh, on the right, but on the left, I can see his forefoot. Right. Uh, but he, I think he has more of a um, tibial varum on the bowel, but we'll see. Sure. And you figure, I mean, by his stance, mm -hmm. by his stance and for his football stance, yep. he, the way that he was showing me, his mm -hmm. knee coming down is putting all that pressure up on the forefoot. Yeah. So if he's pronating through, his foot's not locking up, then he's, that's the medial knee pain that he's getting. He's just crashing through mm -hmm. and he's getting that severe knee valgum, which is, is causing stress on the medial knees. Okay, all right. DJ, let's have you lay face up. Oh, did you want to take a look at anything else? Hold on um, one second, DJ. You see that? He's just going to have this rigid foot. So I think what we can... I had a cortisone shot in one of those during my junior year in college. Uh, so you, well, you needed a cortisone shot in one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the fact that you needed that. The team doctor in Nebraska did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, let's have you flip over. You know, it's funny about this. I'm going to tell you, because I know that you've attended the grinders and doing all the courses and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, I always have them lay on their stomach through this part, too. Just because I oh, find really? that if they can see what I'm doing, they try to help me. <laughs> they'll pull their feet up. They'll start twisting their foot around. I'm just like... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I tell people, stop it! Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> Don't do it anymore. We want the normal dysfunction. Do that. Uh, no. But, yeah, I want to see the Don't way look. you do it. Oh, no. I'll see the way. Don't look. I my eyes, man. Yeah, I'll see it. So the global, um, I don't, and you do. Global is pronate, global. yeah. He's, he's pronate. pronating the calcane. I mean, you know, as much as you can pronate someone that doesn't move into eversion. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty restricted. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, but this is this this right side. I mean, it's, it's so varus. Yeah, oh, so you're doing mid. If I'm trying to completely evert the calcaneus, which doesn't it doesn't move much, you know, okay. and I'm trying to range the oblique metatarsal joint mm -hmm. axis and the and the longitudinal axis. He's just, I mean, he's, he's just really, both sides, so rigid, just okay. bad shock absorbers, bad. So the <laughs> what do you mean by, what do you mean? It's not Your very flex, structure, you the mobility to flexibility oh, is like, decreasing all the little joints in your feet. So I you're no not, flexibility in my... you're not moving yeah, the way so. you should. Right. Yeah. So we're going to start. Yes. But we'll start, uh, Please. we'll start, um, Please. <laughs> um, breaking up all the adhesions in your feet with the laser and the Graston okay. and mo mobilization okay. and get the uh, function back the normal. So as far as the global... Um, I want you to get the five finger so shoes too. That are uh, oh, is that, is global that? is pronation of the calcaneus. Integrity is supination. So we really in the integrity here, we want to make sure that the cuboid's locking into the calcaneus, right? So you're inverting the calcaneus. Okay, so this right here is not part of the... I was looking... And this is what kind of confused me uh, for a while with Susie uh, Lefervre mm -hmm. button. Mm -hmm. So we're not doing just a global this way, but we're actually, we have to supinate. You're supinating for globally. Global is really mobility. I don't know why he uses the words global and what does he use? Integrity. Yeah. Global is motion. You want, you want to pronate it, you want to make sure that it moves. <laughs> you want to pronate the calcaneus, make sure the mid-tarsals, you know, you, you've got good motion through the mid-tarsals and forefoot region. Um, yeah, integrity is supination of the calcaneus because you want that, you know, the cuboid to lock into the calcaneus to create that rigid lever to uh -huh. propel off. Of. If the cuboid isn't locking into the calcaneus and you're pushing off, the entire foot's breaking down because there's no skeletal structure holding it together. And when you go into that, 
you know, it's just like, okay. it's like dropping. Uh, <laughs> Wingate wind mechanism, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> the windless.